Welcome back, episode number 15 of the Chucky Lozano, my player. If you're wondering who won the Champions League, Barcelona. Barcelona won the Champions League. But back on topic, back to what you're really here for, the offers, man. In the last episode, Bayern was the first team to offer for Chucky. And guess what? After thinking about it, we're going to reject the offer, man. And I'll explain why. I'll explain to you why we're rejecting the offer. But first, before our first game of the South America Cup, of the Copa America, we receive another offer, this time from Tottenham, from the Spurs. And this one was an interesting offer because the Premier League. I, I would want to play in the Premier League. I wouldn't mind it. It's not confirmed that we're going to accept this one. But we needed to think about it a little bit. You know, we needed to take a little bit more time. So why did I reject the Bayern offer, though? Because I didn't want to land in a team that's similar to PSV. We would just completely rush and win the league easily. You know, and Bayern, to be honest with you, would we would probably win the league and the cup with, with, with ease. Something that wouldn't happen in the Premier League, for example, and or in the, in the La Liga, or maybe even in Italy. We wouldn't win it that easily. But here we are rejecting the Tottenham offer. Uh, and then a few days later, we get another offer from Inter Milan. So two of the three opponents that we faced with PSV in the group of death of the Champions League last season have offered for Chucky Lozano. He did enough to impress them and now they want him on their team. But before we continue, we're je rejecting offers because that's what it seems like we're doing here. We're not just rejecting offers. It's time to face Argentina, the second match of the group stage here in the Copa America. And, and why did I reject? Why did I reject the Tottenham offer? Well, because I wanted to land in a team that that is a Champions League contender. And I, I don't feel like we can defeat Manchester City, uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid with with Tottenham so that you know while it's a strong team and the addition of Chucky Lozano would make it even stronger I don't feel like we would be better than Manchester City for example like we would be better than Barcelona or Real Madrid or you know Juventus I, I don't know you know so while it's a really good team it, it's we want it something yeah, a little more but anyway, here, back to the gameplay, we're defeating Argentina very, very, very early into the match. Just minutes into the match, sixth minute, Rodolfo Pizarro gets a goal, the assist for Raul Jimenez, the Wolverhampton striker. And right here, only two minutes later, or only one minute later, Chucky Lozano down the wing, creating space, sending in the cross. Hector Herrera is there for the header, a 2-0 lead for Mexico up on Argentina. You gotta love it, baby. You gotta love it. We came out swinging, man. We came out on fire. Nice moves from Chucky Lozano. We get the assist. Nice header by Hector Herrera. But back to the talk we were having about the offers, man. FC Bayern, we rejected that one because we didn't want it to be super easy to, to win the league and win the domestic cup. Kind of like how it was with PSV. To be honest with you, it was, it was sort of a breeze. We really didn't struggle to win the league or the cup. Now we struggle to win the Champions League, which is why we want to land in a team with high aspirations of winning the Champions League. And that explains why we rejected the Tottenham offer, because while it would be a very good team with Chucky Lozano in it, I don't think it'd be better than a Manchester City. I don't think it would be better than a, than a Barcelona or one of those, or PSG, you know, one of those big, big contenders to win the, the Champions League. One of the best teams in Europe. I don't think Tottenham would be that with Chucky Lozano, even, even with Chucky Lozano. So, um... That's why we rejected the Tottenham offer, and we're going to see what we decide to do with the Inter Milan. But back to the gameplay here, right before the end of the first half. The header from Di Maria, I think that was. I can't see what the sign it was. No, it was El Kun Agüero, right? Yeah, El Kun Agüero with the goal for Argentina. 2-1 to one now here in, in this very, very good match in the Copa America. And right here, we would get a header early into the second half that one hits the post we got close to scoring a third one right here argentina back on the attack he gotta be takes the shot the save from our goalkeeper jonathan orozco but ladies and gentlemen we would win 
the match. We have defeated Argentina in the second match at the group stage. Can you believe it? We're at home though, baby. We're at home. We're in the Estadio Azteca. So yes, I can believe it. 2-1 victory for us. 7.5 match rating. One assist for Chucky Lozano. Back to the offer. Inter Milan. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to reject this offer. Similar to my reasoning for rejecting the Tottenham offer, I just don't feel like Inter Milan is, is even with Chucky Lozano, would be considered one of the top European teams. Uh, and damn it, do we want to win the Champions League is one of the goals that I have for this series is to win the damn Champions League, to develop Chucky and win the Champions League. And I just don't see us defeating those top European teams with, with Inter Milan. It could happen, but... You know, I would want Chucky to land in one of those teams. Speaking of that, the next offer is for Real Madrid. And don't worry, we're not rejecting it. Not, not, not yet, at least. We got to think this one through. We're talking about landing in one of the European, top European teams. And Real Madrid is one of the top European teams. They don't have Ronaldo anymore. He's at Juventus. But this is a very, very good offer. An offer we will consider. But first, here is the group standings, man. Six points, top of the group after all three matches. That means we're qualifying to the knockout rounds and we're facing off against the U.S. men's national team. A little CONCACAF rivalry here in the Copa America. But before the match, we would go back to the Real Madrid offer. And we would reject it. Reject it. Why? would we do that i'm sorry real madrid fans do not hate me do not kill me stay with me man i'll explain my reasoning for that but first it's gameplay time baby mexico versus the u.s here in the quarterfinals of the south america cup aka la copa america oh man i might have lost some some real madrid fans man but I I'll explain, and it might not be a good reason, but first, you see Raul Jimenez get a goal after committing a clear foul, man. So I'm going to show you the gameplay, and it's going to be quick, man. I'm just going to show you the goals. Look at that. That's a foul. I don't know how the hell the ref didn't see that, but I mean, <laughs> Ra Raul Jimenez definitely, definitely fouled the, the U.S. defender to score the goal. It wasn't called. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. Mexico takes the lead here early in the, in the quarterfinals. And already in the second half, you're going to see something that you don't see every day. What? A golazo, baby. Take a bow. Andres Guardado. What a golazo, man. I mean, a volley from way back there. Beautiful stuff. You don't see this every day. Oh, what a golazo. What a strike. What a goal. 2-0 lead now for Mexico here in the quarterfinals. But the U.S. was not done. Oh, my goodness. Tyler Adams. You as well take a damn bow in the game right now. The U.S. wins. What a bicycle kick. What a chilena. Oh, what a goal from Tyler Adams. Golazos everywhere, man. Andres Guardado with a beautiful volley. And then Tyler Adams says, hold my beer. But it wouldn't be enough. We would advance to the semis of the Copa America, baby. 2-1, to one, we defeat the U.S. men's national team. What a game this one was. And I summarized it for you because I know what's interesting is the offers. So, why did we reject the Real Madrid offer, you may ask? Chucky has been on record saying that he would love to play with the best player in the world, Lionel Messi, and he would love to play with FC Barcelona someday. Now, I don't know if this would be enough to keep him from playing in Real Madrid in real life, but it might, it might very well be, man. Now, if we get offered again from Real Madrid, then we might reconsider because what an offer that is. Who would do that? I can't believe we did that, man. Honestly, I can't believe we rejected it. I am sorry, Real Madrid fans, forgive me. But here in the gameplay, can you believe it, man? We have defeated Argentina yet again, this time in the semifinals. We're on to the final of the Copa America. And again, FC Bayern says, please, Chucky, come play with us. Should we reconsider the Bayern offer, man? I mean, I know what I said at the beginning of the video, but maybe we're not giving Borussia Dortmund the credit they deserve, man. Maybe they can give us 
a difficult time in the league and in the cup. Hmm. We'll re-review the offer in the next episode. I promise we'll land at a new club by the next episode. The final, Mexico versus Brazil. What a final. You don't want to miss it.